Hello, we're in England, we're doing some interesting pictures. This one is a little, little picture. It's unremarkable from a distance. It has an anonymous back, yielding no information. You have an anonymous mount. You have an anonymous frame. The frame and the mount is late 20th century. But what you have inside this picture is a watercolour by Sir Hugh Casson, who was very, very prominent in the 20th century and was involved in the preparations of the coronation. So a uh, very prolific person of interest. And if you look him up, you'll see he, he made many, many little sketches like this and obviously other things too. Uh, many of his works have been made into prints and I, I question the residual value of his prints and the uh, purpose, investment purposes and the aesthetic purposes of owning his prints. Um, I think when it comes to a an original watercolour, you're really leaving behind those, 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 those prints which are bordering on bric-a-brac and don't have high, high established values. They haven't achieved that and they are very numerous. Um, this is a sketch more than a painting. I mean it's a painting as well but it's really a sketch and it's titled Tug Venice. Tug Boat in Venice. Piles in the channel, some characters on the, on the, key, the key side, a lamppost a blue sky, we have a, a church basilica looking towards Grand Canal, we have behind, inter intersected by the Grand Canal, there is St Mark's Square with St Mark's Campanile. I think that's on the, on the website, I think I found where it's painted from, I can't remember the name of the island but it begins with E. So that fits where I, where I found on the map. Um, Venice is always a good topic as I say, you can't see, you can't see a lot of Venice but it, it, is, it is Venice. And it is titled Venice. It is, it is monogrammed, initialed by Sir Hugh Casson. So I, I think it's a nice thing. Investment-wise, as, as I say, I think it leaves behind the prints, leaves them standing. This is going to become more desirable as the years go by. Um, I think that collecting 20th century art will be resilient. I mean, the people are collecting new British art, like Banksy and Hearst, all those people, Warhol, so not Warhol, uh, Hockney. Still going strong. So so the market is continually being fed with new new product and uh, it's driven to degree now by limited editions as well as the, the originals, especially when it comes to Hearst or Banksy. I mean the, the amount of limited editions they're selling is monumental. And people have no no problems with buying these these modern, new, living artists, contemporary prints, especially the big ones. They spent a fortune on them. But I think that th this sits very favourably in between the Victorian paintings, the contemporary living art artist paintings. It's an original. It can only go up. In my view, the price can only go up. Thank you very much.